Welcome to Inside Mac TV, coming to you live from One Infinite Loop, Building 4, Apple Town Hall. Today we're going to be joined with Steve Jobs, giving us the iPhone SDK rundown, exciting new enterprise features, and what's going on with the roadmap for the iPhone software development. You're watching Inside Mac TV, and you can find out more information, of course, over at InsideMacTV.com. Welcome. Thanks for joining us this morning for this special event. Um, we're really excited to share some, some great news with you about the iPhone software roadmap. We've been working really hard on this and we've got some, some really cool stuff to announce. So let's get on with it. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is iPhone in the enterprise. And for that, I'm gonna hand it over to Phil. Thanks, Steve. Yep. What our customers have asked us, in large part to do, is to build in Microsoft's Exchange support right into the iPhone. The same email application on the iPhone will now get your information directly from the Exchange server, pushed over the air. The same calendar the customers really love on the iPhone gets its information directly from the Exchange server. The same contact management built into the phone application on the iPhone that is so great gets its information directly from the Exchange server. And we're building that all into every iPhone. So over here I have an iPhone and I'm gonna wake it up, and as you see, it's cabled so that you can see up on this display the very same thing I'm seeing on my iPhone. Let's turn it on. Now you might imagine that I'm an employee in a large enterprise and I've been given an iPhone to use as my key uh, business tool, and let's go in and see what's been set up for me. Well, go into contacts, and this hasn't been set up yet. There's no contacts in here for me. Let's go into my calendar. And here's today, list of no events. I kind of like that, I got my day free. <laughs> Go into email. Not only do I not have email, my account is not even set up yet and activated on this phone. But let me go into settings. I've set up an account on this phone. I just haven't turned it on yet. Let's go into my mail settings. I've built in an Exchange account for me to talk to our Exchange server. Tap on that and turn it uh, turn to its settings. And this is really great because in a glance you see what it's able to do. So yes, I want to use Active Sync for my contacts. I'm going to turn it on and now I'm going to get push contact support. And yes, I want to get my calendars from the server as well. So I turn that on and same will happen. And yes, I want to turn on mail. So I get mail pushed over the air to my phone. And that's it. And now I'm going to go home to the home screen. And let's first go into my phone application. And there are all my contacts now. These have been read and pushed directly from the Exchange server to this phone over the air. And they're all in here now. Let me go into my calendar and you'll see. Ah, I have things to do today now. There's my calendar all being read, pushed over from Exchange. And last, we'll go into mail. And sure enough, here's all my mail, all brought in. Again, it's the same applications customers know and love on the iPhone, the beautiful, rich email experience and attachments, but now it's coming from Exchange to the iPhone. Now, the next thing I want to do is show you a little bit what it's like to actually use this in a push environment and how powerful that is. So imagine I'm out on a business trip and I meet a new contact. So I'm going to hit the plus sign to create a new contact card here. Let me just type in a name. Alan Banks. For those of you who have never used typing on an iPhone and wondered how it is, it's awesome. <laughs> Let me save that. So now I've just created a new contact, Alan Banks. And back on the Exchange server, uh, working with his computer, Bob, do you see it? I got it. So take a word for it, it worked, right. <laughs> no. But in case you don't believe me, let's do the reverse. So, so I'm busy and Bob has gotten a, name for, a phone number for that contact. So Bob, if you can add a phone number to uh, that Exchange record and, and let me know when you've sent it. It's on its way. And there it is. So Bob has updated Exchange and here I get it. Next, let's go into mail. So I'm in mail right now, and we're all used to what it's like to pull and get stuff from the server on a periodic basis like a computer does, but now we have push email directly from the Exchange server. So Bob, if you can send me an email right now in front of this audience. 
And there it comes, right to me immediately. So Bob has sent me an email, it pushed to my phone, right from Exchange Server. And last, let's go into calendars. Let's go to uh, today. You see, today's pretty good. I got a lot of time free right now. So I can probably just hang out. But imagine, <laughs> while I'm thinking I got time to kill, actually a meeting gets moved and it's gonna move up in the calendar. So Bob, if you can move a meeting up for me. And the Exchange server now knows that and it's going to push it to me as a member of that meeting. I can even tap on that meeting and go into it, see the attendees in that meeting. I can even select an attendee and go and see their names and go in and call one of them if I want to know anything about the meeting. So all that's happening live, pushed right now from Exchange and Exchange server. So that's our news today on the Enterprise. Next up, I'd like to invite up Scott Forstall. He's going to talk to you about the iPhone SDK. Scott. Okay, so I'm here to tell you about how developers can build great applications for the iPhone. We went and wrote a game. It took us about two weeks. It's under 10,000 lines of code for this entire application. So again, a single click in here builds the application, loads it up, and runs it right here on my iPhone. It's actually connected in the debugger as well. So I'm just going to tap to start. As you can see, this is an OpenGL game for graphics, it's an open AL for audio. And the question is, how, how do I fire at, this, at these uh, ships? Because we're not using up a, a big chunk of the user interface here for buttons. Well, we have a great touch screen, so I can just tap anywhere to fire. But the next question is, well, I don't have a joystick on here or any uh, four button toggle control. How do I, how do I steer? Well, we've got a full three axis accelerometer built in here, so all I need to do is move the phone around. And now I'm steering it. Now we're talking. Now the next question is, once you have all of these amazing applications, how do you get them on your phone? And to answer that, I'd like to turn it back over to Steve. Thanks, so, you're a developer and you've just spent two weeks or maybe a little bit longer writing this amazing app and what is your dream? Your dream is to get it in front of every iPhone user. Well, we're going to solve that problem for every developer, big to small. And the way we're going to do it is what we call the App Store. This is an application we've written to deliver apps to the iPhone. And we're going to put it on every single iPhone with the next release of the software. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, we'll be talking a lot more about this over the next few months. Thank you.